Hey guys, Mike Chang here in San Francisco. I'm so excited for my breakfast today. I am at Roly Roti. It's a rotisserie barbecue and the owner Thomas has been cooking this since he was 10 years old. It's a family recipe. There's chicken, there's porchetta, and as soon as you come within a half block radius, you smell it. There's a line down the block an hour before it even opens and all the meat is just cooking and the fat juice from the meat is dripping down to the other meats and that's all dripping down to a layer of potatoes. And the way Thomas wraps the meat is a very traditional method. And last time I had a sandwich like this, I think I was in Italy. So we have salt, fennel, mm -hmm. fennel pollen, rosemary, pinot grigio, and then um, lots of lemon juice and lemon zest. This is a traditional Italian street food. As you mentioned, you had the best sandwich in Italy. It's really traditional uh, in, in Italy. But we, we have a lot of immigrants from Italy who are, when they were homesick and lonely, my father always asked, what do you want to do? They said, like, I want to make a porchetta. Before getting to the sandwich, give me some bread to try. This is Acme bread. Mm, the texture is amazing. It's super pillowy, and they make the bread just for roly roti. And you can tell already that the juice is gonna soak into the bread. What I love about how they make the sandwiches, they take the bread and they wipe down the board where the meat is being cut. So extra drippings and oil and juice, it's just soaked into the bread on top of the meat. This is gonna be really good. That's for you. That's for me? Well, much appreciated. I'm gonna eat that just for lunch. <laughs> This is a ginormous sandwich. I need two hands to kind of pick this up. The meat is spilling out already. Look at that. Woo! Caramelized onions, right? Yes. Caramelized onions inside, little arugula. And what I love is just look at how much juice is soaked up in the bread. It's glistening. It's beautiful on both ends of the bread. It's just soaked with flavor. That's what's going to make this such an amazing juicy bite. Oh my goodness. And the bread, it doesn't fall apart. Look at it. It doesn't, it doesn't fall apart. It stays together. All that juice and flavor just stays intact until you bite into it. I'm so, so excited for this. I love foods when you take one little sniff and your mouth just waters like a waterfall. And look at this, oh my gosh, you see all the fatty chunks of meat. There's a mix of loin and fat and skin. So all that is in here. Wow, that was an all-encompassing food dream realizing kind of bite. The loin is tender. You got a nice smokiness from the caramelized onions. Every bite you get up some bits of crispy skin, some of that nice dissolving, melting your mouth fat. And all the juice and oil from the meat is soaked up in the bread, so you're gonna have a very, very porky, super juicy bite every single time you dig into this sandwich. The arugula balances out the fat and oil a little bit, but make no mistake about it, this is gonna be a porky, juicy, intensely flavored sandwich and you are gonna love it. I dropped a piece of pork fat on the ground. I had to stop myself from going after it. This would have been a much smarter idea.
no wonder there's such a long way. If I lived in San Francisco area, I'd be stalking this food truck. This is so freaking good. Oh, there's a piece of skin right here. All toasty and nice. Toasty, smoky, and completely melt in your mouth. I'm so happy with the sandwich right now. Every bite, my lips are covered with pork fat. Look at these potatoes, roasted under all that chicken and pork drippings. Oh, this is so good. Just a little bit of salt on top is all you need because all that fat has made this so freaking flavorful. And I haven't even showcased this yet. This is the rotisserie chicken. Look how juicy and plump this is. Give it a little squeeze of lime juice. Wow. It just falls apart. Oh, this is gonna be a really, really flavorful piece. Look at this beautiful roasted skin. You don't want a single morsel of meat or skin to get away. Oh, this is outrageous. First of all, it's roasted perfectly. Look at how juicy this chicken is. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. The skin is remarkably flavorful. Look at that. You can tell right there from the outside how juicy this is. And you smell it too. It's so smoky. You smell the rosemary. All the herbs is covering every single surface area of the chicken. Mm. I'll be honest, I didn't give the chicken a second thought because I love pork so much, but holy chicken, this is good. Look at this, this is the best piece of the chicken. This is the oyster of the chicken, right on the back of the chicken. Tenderest piece. Look at this, this is the neck of the chicken. This is one of the most flavorful part because you got all that delicious little morsels of meat. It's a lot of bones, but that's some great flavorful meat right there. One of my favorite parts of the chicken. Oh, so good. I'm glad Thomas keeps all these parts of the chicken on here. Look oh, chicken butt too. That is good eating. Butt of a chicken? That is really fatty and delicious. After that amazing sandwich, gotta get something sweet. And I got a couple things from Neighbor Bakehouse. And the most intriguing thing is a chashu croissant. Look at this. First of all, this croissant looks amazingly flaky. Bits of roasted chashu on top. Wow. This is a hefty croissant loaded with roast pork. I think some cabbage in here as well. And some scallions on top. This is a pretty outrageous croissant. First of all, it's a delicious croissant. Super buttery and flaky. The char shoe is really good as well. Hint of sweetness, nicely charred. You taste that wonderful smoke. On the bottom, a little bit of cabbage, I think. Mm. I mean, it's sweet, it's savory. This is a perfect marriage of yeast and West breakfast. I like it. Also, look at this beautiful, beautiful croissant. This is called the Emily croissant. On top is a toasted creme brulee. In the bottom is a hefty looking raspberry filled croissant. Oh, this is so good. This is so, so good. The top layer is just ultra eggy and creamy with a thin, beautiful caramelized crust on top. The croissant, as you can see, super airy on the inside, outside, wonderfully flaky. Mm. Haven't got to the raspberry part yet. It's already so, so good. This looks like a hefty croissant. It feels like one too. But when you start eating this, you never want this food experience to end. The creme brulee top is the best part of this croissant. And the creaminess of that is balanced perfectly by the raspberry inside. Again, all attached to a perfectly baked croissant. This is amazing. If you're a fan of creme brulee, or you're a fan of croissants, I'm going to say this has to be a must try. So good. There's a couple things I wanted in there that they sold out already. They also have a milk tea blondie and a dim sum cookie. I didn't get that because I'm going to a barbecue in a bit. But this is a fantastic, fantastic bakery. Last meal of the day. Half Moon Bay is one of my favorite areas in the Bay. The ocean's right there. The air is so fresh. And right now, all I can smell is barbecue. It's coming from right here. Breakwater barbecue.
This place is a hidden gem of a place for barbecue right by the beach. So I decided to get, get, a, get a plate of food and this, this is my plate. <laughs> there is so much going on on this plate. There's barbecue chicken, cornbread, smoked turkey, jalapeno sausage with cheese inside, local Baja fish taco, brisket brie taco with consomme, pulled pork, brisket that's been smoked for about 10 hours, burnt ends, pork ribs, and a burger with brisket on top. This is one of the most overwhelming platter of barbecue I've ever gotten in my life. Start with the brisket taco and this looks oh so, so good. Inside chopped up pieces of brisket, cilantro, onions, cheese, stunk it into that consomme. eating barbecue in California, you gotta expect some tacos. And trust me, with this, you won't be disappointed. Tacos are just stuffed full of smoky, smoky brisket. There's so much char on this, nice little crunch from the onions. The consomme is rich, but also brings a lot of heat and acid. Mmm, that taco's just ridiculous. Next up, the Baja fish taco, local, fish caught right off the shore, deep fried, onions, cilantro, cabbage. Hmm. Yeah, Chef Wyatt definitely knows what he's doing. Fish is tender and flaky, such a light, crispy outside crust. This taco is delicate, it's flavorful, it's refreshing from all the slaw on the bottom of it as well. I don't think I've ever had a fish taco at a barbecue place before, but that is an amazing addition. Also, I just had a taste of these pickles. I love pickles so much. They're some of the best pickles I've ever had in my life. So crunchy and a ton of heat as well. All right, let's get to the meat. Beef brisket. This is very much a Texas style brisket. Beautifully glistening. You can easily see the smoke ring. And look how easy this thing just falls apart. Mm. This is how a brisket should be. This brisket is incredibly smoky and fatty. And this thing definitely melts in your mouth. Dunk it a little bit in the spicy carrot sauce. I mean, that thing just melts in your mouth with a vengeance. Oh, that smoky flavor is intense. And that piece just went down so smooth and quickly. If you ever come here, I'll tell you right now, you gotta try the brisket. This is incredible. If you can't make it down to Texas, come here, get this. Wow. Burnt ends. Mmm. This is crazy good. It's peppery, it's fatty. Look at that beautiful smoke ring. Again, dissolves when it touches your tongue. I cannot believe this place is not lying out the door. I usually don't eat at barbecue places outside of the, the barbecue belt because I just been disappointed time and time again. This is just exceptional. I'm gonna try this burger. So the burger, brisket inside. This is a hefty burger too. Mmm. I love this burger. It's a delicious, toasty, thin patty covered in gooey cheese. And again, you got that nice, fattiness and extra flavor from all the chopped up briskets on top. <laughs> I love the heck out of that. A giant bowl of pulled pork as well. Mm. I don't usually love pulled pork. It's really hard to make pulled pork good. Chef Wyatt knocked it out of park with this. It's still tender and juicy and it has its own unique smoky flavor. You don't even need barbecue sauce with this. A lot of times barbecue places, this will be smothered in barbecue sauce. I mean, I'll try it with the sauce, but it definitely is not a necessity. Mm, that's so good. Next up, beef rib. Kind of let this been sitting here a little bit in the ocean wind. Mm, delicious peppery profile melt in your mouth meat. Yeah, that's a beef rib. Oh my God. Mmm, this thing is so smoky and fatty. I mean, once you start, you don't want to stop eating this. And if you ever do need a palate cleanser, pop in a little spicy pickle. Smoked turkey. Mmm, nice and tender as well. Sausage is snappy, it's cheesy, it's spicy. Mmm, and the smoked chicken. 
Oh, that's nice too. The Michelin guy mentioned about the, the chili, so I got an order. This is chili made with brisket trimmings. Mm. That's freaking ridiculous. Oh, this is so good. Probably one of the meatiest chilies I've ever had. Spicy, thick, really rich. You eat this with a fork. The smoky flavor of the brisket definitely adds to the flavor of this chili. That's a must get if you ever come here. But you should. You should definitely come here. This has been such an awesome plate of barbecue. Again, really unexpected. I've been sitting here, like I said, Half Moon Bay. I think I was here once for a buffet. Never thought I found one of my favorite barbecue places here. This place is definitely worth a visit. And they had a hard time like trying to open this place up during the pandemic. If you live around here, this is a barbecue place you should be coming to a lot. Favorite thing is the brisket. Love the burger. Beef ribs delicious, tacos amazing. And of course, don't forget to get some pickles. If you're craving Texas style barbecue or Texas style brisket and can't make it out to Texas, but live around here, you gotta check this place out. Highly, highly, highly recommend. I don't think you guys can be disappointed. I'm gonna go back to eating before the ocean winds completely cool down my barbecue. But that's it for another amazing food day here in the Bay Area. As always, I'll place that wind to list down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.